One man is dead, another behind bars after a dispute between neighbors turned into a deadly police shooting over the weekend. As that investigation continues, neighbors are shocked over which man deputy shot. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch spoke with neighbors and she joins us now in the newsplex. Neighbors tell me the man who was shot to death by Valencia County deputies was confronting a problem neighbor. Meanwhile, state police are working to learn how it all played out. I mean, he was awesome. I mean, you talk to really everybody down here. I mean, him, his wife, his son never caused a problem. A neighbor talking about 51-year-old Michael Gabaldon, the man who was shot and killed by Valencia County Sheriff's deputies on Sunday. The neighborhood east of Los Lunes is full of shock after the shooting. They say Gabaldon was a good man. According to neighbors, it all started with another man who lives on their street, Thomas Rodriguez, who they say has been a problem before. He causes the scenes like every six months, but shoots um, his gun out, shoot at the neighbors' houses. Neighbors say they've called police numerous times on Rodriguez. Then around 3 on Sunday afternoon, Valencia County deputies responded to reports of Rodriguez outside his home shooting a rifle into the air. The sheriff's office says deputies tried to talk to Rodriguez, but he refused to come out of his home. Instead, they spoke to his mother, who agreed to file a red flag petition to have her son's gun seized. Deputies left to get that court order, but around 8 p.m., they were called back for a dispute between Rodriguez and his neighbor, Michael Gabaldon, who told deputies Rodriguez tried to run him over. Rodriguez again refused to leave his home, and deputies left. But soon after, they were back a third time for reports Rodriguez and Gabaldon were exchanging gunfire. According to state police, the deputies saw one person firing a weapon in the direction of a home. That's when one deputy opened fire, striking Gabaldon, who died from his wounds, leaving neighbors wondering how it ended like this. He's flown the, like, the blue striped flag or for the police department out in his front yard. You know, he supported police officers. He, he did, and he didn't deserve it. His family didn't deserve it. Court records show Rodriguez has an extensive criminal history. He was arrested last year for a shooting at a neighbor's house. That case was dismissed. After a SWAT standoff yesterday, police arrested him at his home. Back to you. Bye, Marilyn. Thank you. The Valencia County Sheriff's Office says the deputy who opened fire has been placed on a standard administrative leave. Sheriff Denise V. Hill says she is waiting to say more until state police complete its investigation. She hopes to release more information, she tells us by late next week.